I was coming over I just wanted to hold you You know I'm a loner But I got you in my corner I've got a wild side, got a child's mind, insecurities and a wall build up a couple miles high. She knows this, she obsesses over all the words I say. I play when I'm restless The one thing she don't know Cause I never let show Is that I miss Her when she's away And I wanna kiss her face She thinks she's in over her head She thinks she's the only one those bright eyes looking through mine trying to figure out if there's any more doubt in my mind you can test me or confess please cause I 
Just come. Can you guys hear me now? How about now? <laughs> How are we doing now? Yes, I got a yes. Okay, cool. There's like a 30 second delay. So sorry about that, guys. All right. So again, my setup is crazy. I fixed the color. Hopefully it looks a little bit better for you guys. Just, so today, let me start over again since nobody heard me. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Thank you so much for joining me today and happy Easter to all of those who celebrate. Um, you guys can see I'm celebrating with my, my bunny ears. My bunny ears. <laughs> 
So um, today we're going to be working on our Tropics project. We kind of been, um, it's, it's been a while since we've gotten back to this one. And we're going to be doing a lot of ironing and trimming today. So it's going to be a real relaxed stream. Because I know we're not going to have a real big showing of people today. It is a holiday and that's totally understandable. You should be spending time with your family. Um, but I do appreciate if you're able to spend time with me as well. I'm sorry I couldn't make it last week. You know, I got to be honest with you guys. I've been having some... I don't want to really say mental health issues because I think that there's a wide spectrum of what's considered a mental health issue. Um, I'm on the very, very low end of, of mental health issues um, compared to the very high extreme end. And I've just been having a little bit of a lack of motivation lately. Um, I'm working through it. I'm trying to make some very subtle changes, some small subtle changes in my, my daily routine to try and help with that. But you know, last week I just, you know, I, I've told you guys that I I wouldn't come on live stream if I wasn't feeling up to it. And and because I don't want it to be forced. I want it to be natural. I want to be able to spend time with you guys and have a great time. Um, and so last week I just, I just couldn't seem to get up the motivation to, to really want to be in front of the camera and, and in front of the machine and things like that. So it, I didn't think it was fair to you guys and it wasn't, I know it wasn't fair to me. So I just said, you know what, we'll just, we'll reschedule it for another time. I know you guys would understand. Um, so that's where we're at today. So let me hop into chat, say hello to everybody that I've missed. I know there's quite a few that have popped in just in the last couple of minutes. So let me say hello to those. My goodness, some of you were so early this morning, which was great to see. Some of you were like an hour early, which was really exciting. So let me hop in there real quick, say hello to everybody, and then we're going to get started on this Tropics project. Color is beautiful. Well, thank you, Brenda. I think I finally figured out the settings. The only problem is they won't save. So every time I come back on, I have to redo them again and again. So it is what it is. We'll get through it one of these days. Oops, I just lost the chat. There we go. Here we go. All right, so very first up on the list. Good morning, Nancy. Hi, how are you, Kathy? Hello, good morning, Sandra. Good morning. I saw Melody was popped in this morning. Hi, Melody. It's been forever since we've seen you. I'm so glad that you're back today. Uh, Mona, hi, Mona. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. Brenda, I saw you. Hello, good morning. And yes, prayers for someone's grandson. Sandra's, no. Uh, Nancy's grandson. Prayers for Nancy's grandson. I hope that he feels better. I hope it turns out to be nothing serious. And also prayers for Vicky. If she's able to watch this live stream later, she had some illness over the weekend. Um, I saw it on another channel, another Facebook group. And so hopefully she's, she's healing up nicely and she'll be back with us again soon. Good morning, Shirley. Hi, how are you? Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Thanks again for joining us today. Hi, Dawn. Hello. So good to see you. I miss you guys so much. Sean. Hi, Sean. So good to see you. Yes, happy Easter to you. I hope you and your family are well. I hope the move went well. <laughs> well, thank you, Sean. I appreciate those kind words. Thank you. Brenda says the time change has knocked her for a loop. She's blaming that on her lack of motivation. It, you know what? It could be that. Um, I think it might be the weather as well. We've had, you guys know that I'm up here in northern Illinois, we have had nothing but rain and horrendous weather for the last like three or four weeks. We actually had a tornado and thank you so much to a couple of the subscribers that reached out to me to double check to make sure we were okay. We had a tornado touch down three quarters of a mile from my house. It was, it was freaking scary. <laughs> it, was, it was terrifying. Thank goodness we have had no damage to our home. Or, or anyone else on our block, there's no there's no pulled up trees or anything like that. We were very, very lucky, but it, it touched down way too close to home. And so we've been a little freaked out about it. So so thank you to, to those of you who reached out to me on, on Instagram and Facebook uh, DMs to check to make sure we were okay. We are okay. Everything is okay. The girls are okay. They were down in Southern Illinois. Taylor, you guys know Taylor is at Bradley University. She had a tornado touch down by her. She... Do, she didn't sustain a lot of damage, but her her new truck has some hail dents on it. So she's she's a little bummed about that. Um, but they're not terrible. She says unless you're looking for them, you don't notice them. So that's good to hear. But yeah, she was a little bit she was a little bummed about that. So that's good. Uh, yeah, thanks so guys so much for all that. Yes, Vicky, we are praying for Vicky. We hope that she's uh that she's doing well. 
Uh, Lucas is probably not going to be on the stream. Lucas is actually home, and so is Tony. They are home this weekend, spending time with Lucas's family for the holiday. I don't think he's going to be on the stream. He might pop in later to say hi, but I doubt it. He is spending time with his family today, so it's all on me today. <laughs> We'll have to see. Hopefully, I don't accidentally mute anyone. We'll have to wait and see. Good morning, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Thanks so much for joining us. The chat wouldn't load. Well, that's where, you know, it's been, it's, it is, you know, it, it would not be my stream if we didn't have some type of technical issue, right? I mean, that's just the way it goes. All right, guys, so let's get started on this project. Like I said, it's going to be a real chill stream today. I don't even think we're going to pull the machine out at all today. We're, we've got two piles of, of half square triangles that we're going to need to, or not half square triangles, but um, basically squares, that we're going to need to be opening those up, ironing them all out, and then trimming up all the dog ears. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be chilling, we're going to be resting in chat, and we're going to be, we're going to be talking about stuff. So... Yeah. Sean says he's new in his house, which is great to hear. I'm glad to hear that. But he's he's uh he's been getting ready for his new granddaughter, so he hasn't had a time to set up his sewing room. No, I I totally get that, Sean. Yeah, I mean, family is way more important than sewing for sure. For sure. That is for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, we're just going to be ironed up. So I think I'm going to start with the big ones first because they take up the most room. So I think I've got to... I think it wants me to press everything towards the solid, but let me just double check and see if it actually gives us pressing instructions. Mm-hmm. I don't see any pressing instructions. So we're just gonna, we're gonna press everything towards the solid. So I'm just gonna fold this one up like this. And now these are all on the bias. So we're gonna have to be super duper careful when we're pressing these. We don't wanna stretch the materials at all. So I'm just gonna kinda lay that iron down there like this. I think we'll press first and then we'll trim. I think that's, I think that's the, the way we're gonna do this. Got my, yep, yuck, yuck, yuck. There we go. All right. This is the bin that I use to store all my pieces in. I'm just gonna kind of use that to lay everything out on. Kelly says, happy Easter to all. We are hosting dinner tonight, turkey and ham. Ooh, that sounds good, Kelly. What time? We'll be over there later. What time? <laughs> My family, we used to celebrate Easter. We used to get together and, and, well, I shouldn't say celebrate, but we used to get together and do dinners and things like that. And actually Easter was one of my holidays, but you know, my house is very tiny and it's really actually really hard to, to do things like that unless we can do them outdoors. So um, it just became too much for, for us to do. And our family is kind of segregated. We're, we're not super far away from each other, but far enough that it can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. So we, we don't do Easter anymore, which is probably, you know, which is, I miss it. I do miss the, the family cooking for sure, but, um, it's okay. Brenda wants to know who else is doing this project. Oh, Brenda, speaking of you, um, I wanted to answer those questions for you. So she asked me, she said she loved my music. She's, she's mentioned that before. Um, my intro music and then also when I turn the stream off, there's some music there at the end as well, which I can actually play it while we're doing the stream. I figured out how to do that, so I might change that for later so you guys have a little bit of background music well, so that when I'm not talking, there's still some sound there. Um, the music is, is from Pretzel Rock. It is copyright free music from Pretzel Rock. It's a free app that's part of my Streamlabs software. The Streamlabs software is for streaming. It's not necessary, necessarily for video recording. Um, you can use it for that, but I don't. What I do for my video recording, and, and, and this may or may not be the best way to do it, I just use the camera function in your computer. So I have a Windows-based computer, so I just do the start menu and I type in camera, and there's a video option in there, and that's where I record my videos from. I don't have any special software that I use to record them. I do have special software to edit the videos, but the recording of the videos is either done right on my phone, because I have a couple of different uh, phones that I can use, 
or I just record it right on the camera. So you don't necessarily need to pay for anything. I do pay for my Streamlabs software, but you don't have to. I pay for mine because I have some advanced settings on mine that I prefer to use. Um, and some of the setups, you know, some of the transitions, things like that, um, that I like to pay for, but you don't have to. It is, it is a free streaming software that you can use. So you don't have to. And the Pretzel Rock is also free. Now you are only able to access certain stations in the Pretzel Rock for the free version, um, but it's still, I mean, the ones you guys hear, that's a free version. I don't pay for that. <laughs> I try to do this as cheaply as I can. Uh, Sean says he's headed out for lunch with his daughters. It'll be about half an hour, so he just wanted to stop in. No, Sean, we appreciate it. Thank you so much for shop stopping in. It's a holiday. I don't expect anybody, you know, I, I honestly didn't expect anybody to show up. It's, it's a holiday weekend. And, the you know, even when it's not a holiday weekend, if you guys can't stay the whole stream, you can only pop in and say hi or whatever. I'm grateful for whatever time you guys are able to spend with us, for sure. Kelly says her family and her hubby's dad is joining us. Hubby's family is scattered around the province. Some are five and a half hour drive. Wow, that is so great to hear that you're going to be able to see all of them today. So excited for you, Kelly. So it sounds like you're making a lot of food then. So, you know, a couple of extra dinner guests is fine, right? <laughs> Brenda says she finds it interesting. No, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I am not an expert. I mean, obviously, by the name of my channel, I'm not an expert at this, especially when it comes to technology. I'm kind of learning as I go. I've picked up on a lot of things from other streamers. Um, like I told you guys uh, before, I'm a bit of a computer gamer, although I really haven't done that in a while. Um, but I used to be a bit of a computer gamer. I used to play a lot of computer games. And so I would follow some YouTubers that would play computer games on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, so I've learned some things from them. That's actually where I found out about the Thimbles program, which, as a reminder, we are still running Thimbles. Every time we're live, we're running to Thimbles. So you guys can collect on those. I do have two people that claim prizes on our, our last live stream. I have not mailed those out yet. I will get those mailed at the end of this month, um, along with anyone else who wants to claim their prizes. So I've got those instructions down here if you guys are interested in those. Brenda says you're more tech than I'll ever be. Well, I appreciate that, Brenda. I appreciate that. I do have some friends in the industry, so I do try to to learn as much as I can. But I am not an expert. I am not. I'm not the mom and pop of the mom and pop station of the world that where they're all in IT and they know what they're doing over there. Yeah. Good morning, Terry. Hi. How are you? Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much. She's reminding everybody to give a thumbs up. Yes, please. Go tickle that like button if you get the opportunity. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, looks like somebody had a heist going. Unfortunately, does not appear that anybody won that heist. So sorry about that. Don't forget, we still have our slots machine. Like I said, Lucas is probably not going to be online today, so there won't be any advanced advanced stuff with regards to the slots, but that's all right. There's still the regular game that's open. So Terry says, Danny, I got here wait, late. What are we working on? We are working on our Tropics project. We're just going to be doing a real chill stream today, uh, just pressing all of these squares open and... Um, trimming all the dog ears so it's it's going to be a real chill stream i'm not sure that we'll go the full two hours we'll have to wait and see it is a holiday i don't want to keep you guys from your family um so we'll we'll see how it goes next week we're planning on working on our mix and match project we're getting close to the end on that one and that you know guys i think that could be part of my problem with my motivation too is we really haven't finished a project on this channel in quite a while um you know i'm only doing the one cotton cuts i'm not doing both this time i'm only doing one um, and it's just, it's been a really long time since we were able to finish a project. So I have a bunch of whips of works in progress. I have a bunch of them. So I might try to pull something out in a couple of weeks on a stream and maybe we'll do some sandwiching. Maybe we'll do some quilting. Um, try and get something finished to feel like we've accomplished something. And I'm hoping that that might help a little bit with my motivation as well. So, so that's what we're going to, that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see if I actually stick to it. <laughs> Brenda says she's still paper piecing her blocks. No, Brenda, I understand. Yeah, Brenda had was making the project with us, and she made an oops on 
um, her cutting instructions. So she actually went and created some paper piecing for the blocks so that she could start putting those together. The next time we meet well, for this particular project, we're going to be able to start putting the blocks together, which is really exciting. That's always the fun part is putting all the blocks together. Kelly says it's not even 9 a.m. yet. Oh my goodness. You're an early bird, girl. Looks like we got some people playing slots. Looks like a couple of you have lost already. Sorry about that. Like I said, Lucas isn't here to mess with that stuff today. So, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, good morning, Patty. Hi, how are you? Thanks so much for joining us today. I was just saying that um, I have not gotten everybody's prizes mailed yet. I'm going to mail those at the end of the month. I know you had claimed one on your last live stream, so I have it here. I just haven't mailed it yet, but thank you for that. Happy Easter to you as well. Do you see my little buddy ears? My buddy ears? <laughs> Kelly says she's still making bags and carrying on with Big Stitch on the medallion quilt. One of these days I need to, I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to make a bag. I've got, I think I've got all the stuff to make it. I could use some, some bags for storage just around, just around the room here. So it's been a couple of weeks since I went on my live streams, and I'm sorry again for that. Um, I'm working on it. <laughs> so my question for you guys is, what have you been up to the last couple of weeks? I know with spring around the corner, I told you guys we've just had horrendous weather. Just just absolutely horrendous weather. It's been hot. It gets, it gets into, up into the 50s and the 60s, and then it drops down to the 30s. Of course, you know, this is Chicago weather, so it's normal for us. But my goodness, it has just been horrendous. And we've had, I told you guys, we had a tornado touch down three quarters of a mile from my house. It was so scary. Oh, my goodness. My daughter had two tornadoes, actually. I told you guys about one. She actually had two tornadoes touch down close to her. So that was scary. And she, unfortunately, her brand new truck has a little bit of hail damage, but nothing too severe. So I do feel bad for her on that. But, you know, it is what it is. She's okay with it. But what have you guys been up to? Terry wants to know what the weather is by me right now. You know what, Terry? I am not sure. Let me check. I It is currently... It's refreshing. Hang on. It is currently... It is 59 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now, so it's absolutely gorgeous outside right now. And it's supposed to get up to 66 degrees today. So today is going to be a really pretty day. I'm going to try and spend some time out on my back patio, maybe read some read a book for a little while. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But so right now, it's awesome. The weather's perfect. <laughs> but, you know, with, with our Chicago weather, it could change, you know, within a minute. I mean, I'm telling you, I think it's supposed to get back down chilly this weekend or this week. Again, and then somebody mentioned something about flurries or snow snow later. So who who knows? Who knows? Okay, I missed some things here. My bad. Let's see. Um, so Terry asked me what the weather was like. Sun is shining. Yep, sun is out right now. Uh, Kelly says, Danny, I'm making really simple ones for friends to take on their cruise. Well, that sounds fun, Kelly. Yeah, one of these days I would like to make a couple of eggs because I feel like I could use those as gifts for some people. Maybe we'll maybe we'll try to do something like that in the fall for Christmas gifts. Terry says, Danny, I posted my latest FPP project to the group. Oh, Terry, it's so exciting. I'll have to wait and go look at that. I love your stuff. It's always so pretty. Don says, I've been quilting up a storm. Have three to bind, two are already bound, and starting a new one yesterday. My goodness, Dawn, you are a busy girl. That is awesome. I can't wait to see what they look like. Terry says, oh no, no tornadoes. I'm glad you're okay. Well, thank you, Terry. Yes. No, no, we're all okay. No damage to anything. So that's all good. Um, yeah, it's, it was, it's just been scary. Yeah. Yes, Patty, prayers for Vicki. Yep, yeah, we mentioned that her earlier. So we'll, we'll keep her in our thoughts and prayers. Hopefully she's got a quick recovery. Brenda says, next week I'm taking a bag class at my quilt shop. I have made bags, but enjoy taking classes with human contact. Brenda, I agree with you. I, I have not taken any classes um, at my local quilt store since the, my retreat um, back in October of last year. 
Um, I keep looking at the classes they're offering, and there just hasn't really been anything that's kind of struck my fancy. But I keep looking at them. Yes, the weather situation is crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> Don says, all the UFOs have converged and been completed. That is awesome, Don. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Um, I have just a bunch of UFOs. I have a, a ton of table runners. I actually bought a bunch of batting at the end of last year for just for all the table runners that I have to work on. So we're we're gonna get through those. We're maybe the next um next live stream we'll be doing that. Now there will not be a live stream at the end of this month because I'm actually going on a little bit of a trip with my mom. Maybe I'll take some video of that for you guys to share with you. It's completely not sewing related. <laughs> <laughs> but I might take a couple of videos just to just to kind of keep you guys updated on what I'm doing and all my adventures. Um, but the end of the month, there will not be a live stream the last weekend in the month. So keep that in mind. We will. We, I'm sure we will be able to remind you guys about that again later on. So like I said before, we're just going to be doing a bunch of ironing up and trimming of the dog ears. There we Any fun Easter plans for anybody? I know um, Nancy's got a bunch of family coming by, or Nancy or Mona, I can't remember now. One of you's got a bunch of family coming by. Brenda wants to know if Nancy's been affected by the tornadoes. There were some pretty nasty ones down in um, Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm not sure if you guys are in that area, but there were quite a few down there that were pretty scary as well. Um, the one that hit by me was an EF-0, so it was it was a very small one comparatively, but it was still scary nonetheless. Um, I mean, obviously there have been bigger, more nasty ones before. Um, it hit just in our downtown area. So luckily there wasn't too many people down there. Um, we did have one that hit in Belvedere, Illinois, which is, which is, um, west of us. So it's quite a bit west of us. And, um, unfortunately we, it was in a theater when they're, where they were holding a concert and the roof collapsed. There were some, unfortunately there were some casualties there and, and some, uh, a, a lot of injuries and, you know, that's always, Always sad to hear about, um, but so we were lucky. Terry wants to know if the girls are home. Uh, Taylor is not home. She is at school. She actually just started a new job. Um, so she she started a new job and she's going to be moving into a condo. She's currently living in a dorm room. She's going to be moving into a condo at the end of the school year. So she's actually not going to be coming home as much as I would like her to be anymore. She's got a, a real job. <laughs> Well, I mean, real for her, a real job, and she's going to be living in a real place, so she's not going to be coming home as much, so Taylor's not home. Tony did come home, but I'm, but she didn't really come home to visit with me. <laughs> she actually came home to see Lucas. Lucas is actually home this weekend, visiting his family for Easter, um, so I did get to see him. I got to see him yesterday, uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday and the day before, Friday and Saturday, I got to see him a little bit. Um, so that's actually why he's not online right now, because he's spending time with his family and with Tony. So Tony did come home, um, but I didn't really get to see her much. She came home Friday night, and then she, she left to go spend the rest of the weekend with Lucas um, on Saturday. <laughs> Sandra says, my family's celebrating while on a mini vacation. Ooh, that sounds fun, Sandra. Did they go somewhere fun, or they're just all visiting out everybody else? Brenda says she's thinking that the 30th is of so Becca's VIP Zoom meeting. That could be. I'm not sure. I'm not part of those. Maybe one day. But I'll be going on a little bit of an adventure with my mom and one of her friends at the end of the month. So that'll be fun. Like I said, I might uh, might do a little bit of a recording let you guys know what I'm up to. But it won't be sewing related, that's for sure. Welcome back, Kelly. 
She must have stepped away. I must have missed her message about stepping away. Glad to see you're back. Yes, Terry, they do. They grow up. The kids grow up. They get their own lives and then, you know, and, and different things become different priorities. We, I know I've mentioned it before, but we have two, two of our daughters, my husband's daughters, that are graduating from college this year. Two of his daughters are graduating from college and his third daughter is graduating from high school. So she's actually going off to Western Kentucky University. WKU. Sounds like a radio station, doesn't it? <laughs> so she'll be over there. So that'll be exciting for her. She just recently um, formally accepted their their invitation. So that's exciting. She's getting ready to, to do that. And like I said, Taylor's, Taylor's got a condo now. Her and her roommate are going to be staying in a condo. They've been renovating it since January. Um, uh, her roommate's parents bought the condo and then now they're renovating it. So I've been seeing pictures of it. It looks so cute for them. So she'll be moving in there and she's got another job. She was working for the actual, she was working in the, um, for the dining services department um, in her at her school and so she's um, resigned from that position and she now has a position in a fast food chain um, closer to her condo so it'll be easier for her to get to and it's going to give her more hours and more money of course as well so that's really exciting for her because you know she's going to have rent to pay now I've missed some things Well, it looks like there was a heist going on. Congrats, Terry. Wow, you won quite a bit on that heist. Congrats. You'll have to wait another five minutes or so, uh, and then you'll be able to uh, join that again. Streamlabs is reminding those of you that are new to the channel to go ahead and like and subscribe. We are currently up to, ooh, over here, 400 and this is wrong. It says 457. We actually lost a couple of subscribers, so no big deal. It's not for everybody. I, I don't get upset about that. We're at 455 right now for subscribers. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I think there's some type of milestone at 500 subscribers, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what like opens up. I think it might be memberships, but I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Brenda says, I noticed if you finger press the blocks on top of the hardwood clapper, it makes it flatter. I love the wool, but the hard surface is handy. For finger pressing, yes, I can I completely understand that. I do prefer when I finger press to do that on a hard surface. I usually will finger press right here on the, the counter of my um, sewing cabinet when I'm finger pressing. But right now, these are on the bias. All of these pieces are going to be on the bias, so they're going to stretch. And I try not to finger press when they're on the bias because I feel like I because I push down so hard that I think I stretch it a little bit. So I try not to do that. So I'm just kind of peeling them back. I know you guys have been watching me. I'm just kind of peeling it back gently. I'm just kind of holding it there and then pushing down with the iron. I don't use steam because I do have the wool pressing mat. Um, and plus I don't really like the water in my, my iron anymore. I do have spray bottles if I need them. But usually with this kind of stuff, I usually don't need it. Terry wants to know if Sandra's going to be around this week. She said she's going to be popping in and out. I'm assuming she means on Kathy's channel. If you're not already a member of Kathy's channel, I, can sit, I uh, encourage you to go over and subscribe. You can do exclamation point Kathy in chat, and it will give you a link to her channel. They do so many fun things over there. You guys can see Pepper. My butterfly Pepper is right here. I did that on one of her live streams. It was so much fun. I have the patterns for the other ones and the, the fabric is laid out too. I have it all laid out. I just, again, guys, I'm lacking motivation lately. Um, I, I'm working on it. I'm trying to make some subtle changes to my daily routine and things like that to try and help um, with low motivation. One of those changes that I've recently started doing the last couple weeks is I've started walking again. Now, I know that that's not something that everyone is capable of doing. I am capable of walking and I should be doing it more than I am. 
So I have a treadmill in my home. Uh, it was a gift that my mom gave me many, many years ago. Um, so I pulled it back out. I cleaned up my bedroom so that I had space for it. I pulled it out and I've been using that. I am up to 15 minutes every day, five days a week. Um, I just, I walk for 15 minutes. I don't worry about how fast I'm going or how long I'm going. I just focus on how much time I'm doing it. Um, I walk at a very slow pace, nothing too strenuous. I do have lower back issues. I've had surgery on my lower back before, so I have to be very careful with that. Um, so that's why I'm very cautious about what I'm doing. But I just kind of, you know, just just go real slow, take my time, cup, you know, a few minutes every day. Um, and that's something that I'd, I'd like to continue to do. Uh, my goal is to get up to 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes every day, maybe longer. We'll have to wait and see. Friday, it was a beautiful evening. So I actually um, took one of my dogs for a walk on Friday. I, I put them on a leash and walked around my block, walked up and down my block for 15 minutes. So that was really nice. And I'm hoping when the weather starts to turn a little bit nicer, I'll be able to do that more often. I don't like walking in the dark. Uh, my neighborhood is a very dark neighborhood. We're an unincorporated neighborhood, so we don't have any street lights. Um, each home has one of those little lamps in the front yard, but not everybody has them lit. So it's actually a pretty dark neighborhood. And, you know, the, the dark just scares me. <laughs> it makes me very uncomfortable. So I much prefer to just kind of walk when it's lighter out. So that's what I've been doing um, to try and just add a little bit of dopamine into my life and a little bit of, you know, happy, happy thoughts and things. Cause they say that exercise releases dopamine, which is a, which is a natural, um, hormone that helps with better moods. So I'm hoping that that helps. We'll have to wait and see. And I, I think it's doing something because the people in my office have been telling me that I've been really smiley lately which I don't know how that works, but they've been telling me that. So I'm thinking it's working and hopefully we'll, we'll get there. Wow. Shirley says I have 25 butterflies made. My daughter saw them and wants a quilt. My goodness, 25. Wow. That is so great. I can't even get three done. <laughs> I've only gotten one. Yes, Terry, I, I agree. It is important to move when you can. If you can't, I completely understand. But if you are able to, it is important to do so. Um, you know, I, I take that for granted. I take for granted the fact that I, I am able to to move around and that I should be doing it more. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to trying to get my steps in. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh-oh. Okay, the music is acting weird again. I thought I was having issues with the stream. Sandra says, Danny, you should try the hummingbirds. Well, I, you know what? I think that I saw the pattern um, that you guys posted on Kathy's page. I saw it. Um, it looks easy enough, and yes, I should try it. Um, I might go over and pull it and just kind of put it in my stash for now. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff I really need to finish up first before I start on anything else. And I would like to do a couple more of those butterflies um, and actually finish them. So, like, this one is, it's made, but I still have the paper on the back because um, there's some holes <laughs> that I need to fill. Um, so I do want to pull the paper off this one and then finish it. So that's, that's, it's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so the hummingbirds looks uh, look adorable and but I just I don't have an, an application for them right now um so I, I haven't tried them yet but I did I do need to pull the pattern and, and put it in my stash Kelly I'm assuming Ferris is your dog or your one of your animals I'm not sure, but I'm going to guess so. She says when the weather's nice, she's been uh, walking Ferris around the neighborhood. Shirley says she's cutting out groups of four and working on them when she can. Absolutely, Shirley. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shona says, don't give me any more ideas. I can't control myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I know the feelings really. I have so many patterns and and ideas of things I want to try and do that I just haven't gotten to yet. So I'm trying to trying to be better. Okay, so I've got all the big ones sewn up. So let's go ahead and trim those first and then we'll get to the small ones. So let me pull these back down here. These are all nice and flat. You guys have seen me trim dog ears before. I use a little plastic cup for all my scrap, my um, garbage pieces, my thread pieces and all this stuff. So I just pull the little plastic cup down. I've got my scissors here. I probably don't need these big scissors. I probably could have used snips or something, but, um, and then I just cut them right into the plastic cup. That way I don't have all the little pieces all over my sewing room. But let's face it, I do that anyway. But be careful with this little cup, because every once in a while, I have been known to tip it over onto the floor. <laughs> that's, that's how I roll, you know. That's that's how I do things. I like to be silly and do silly stuff like that. So I'm just going to cut them right into the cup here. Terry says, I've been squirreling when it comes to projects. I need to get a grip. <laughs> Mona says, I finished my Ohio Star Blocks yesterday. Now to figure out how to put them together. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Sandra says, I cannot go without sewing my on butterflies or hummingbirds are what I go to. If I cannot go without sewing, so I sew butterflies and hummingbirds. Oh, okay. That makes sense. If those make you happy, that goes, that's good. I'm good with tiny pieces, use my tiny scraps and have done so, done many FPPs, she says. Kelly says my focus sucks lately. Kelly, I'm with you, hon. Mine, yeah, that's that's my struggle lately. That's, I just can't seem to, well, my motivation and my focus, yeah. Mona says she's been jumping from one project to another lately. I, I understand that. I can understand that. I have a few of them going right now, not too many, which is good. I've got a couple of kind of detailed projects that I really need to get back into. They're kind of up here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're up here on top of the cabinet there. I've st I started them. I've pressed all the fabric out. That's what some of this fabric is down here that you guys see as well. I've pressed up some of the fabric. I just haven't really been able to put any of it together. I have a couple more pieces of big chunks of fabric that I have to cut up into some really tiny little pieces. And I just haven't gotten there yet. Brenda's actually going to go scramble some eggs. Brenda, I did that this morning before the live stream. So I got gotcha. you. I had some, I took some mushrooms and sauteed them up in a pan and then put some scrambled eggs in there with it. Um, for breakfast this morning. So that was, that's our, mine and my husband's go-to for breakfast is scrambled eggs. Uh, it's high in protein. It's really healthy for you. And it kind of gets me through the day, m most of the day. That is our go-to when it comes to breakfast. Sometimes we'll put them in tortillas for little tacos. Sometimes we'll just eat them right off the plate. Sometimes we'll put them between some bread, make a sandwich. Just depends on what we're doing, but that's our go-to. Mona wants to know if vitamin B12 helps with concentration. Ooh, good question. I am not an expert at that, Mona, so I can't answer that question for you, but I'm sure one of, other, one of our other members could. I'm sure they are much smarter about that stuff than I am. Shirley, I am with you. I, I avoid sandwiching myself because I don't have the, the table room either, although I do have a huge island in my kitchen now that I'm going to probably try to start using more for sandwiching. Um, I do the smaller projects at home. I will do the table runners um, at home, but when it comes to a full-size quilt, I, I just don't have the space for that, and I also don't have the machinery for that. So I usually send those out to a long arm. But yeah, sandwiching is probably my least favorite of the entire quilting process. Cause you just, you have to get everything to lay so flat and then even doesn't matter how great you get it to lay, it, it, there's always a bulk somewhere or a pinch somewhere and it's just really frustrating. 
Do you use basting, Shirley, or do you use safety pins? I use safety pins because I don't like having the overspray of the basting everywhere. Um, plus, I don't like having, I just don't like having that under my machine. I much prefer the safety pins, but, you know, each person has their own process. Dawn says it does help with focus. Well, there you go. B12 helps with focus. We'll have to remember that. Looks like there's a heist going on there. So if you guys want to get in on that, do exclamation point heist in chat. And then exclamation point heist space. And then the amount of thimbles you're willing to wager. Remember, you guys are earning thimbles as you're watching the stream, as long as you're a subscriber to the channel. Um, you are able to earn some thimbles. You can trade those thimbles in for prizes. There's a bunch of prizes. Oh, the prizes aren't listed here anymore. If you do exclamation point prizes in chat, it'll tell you what those prizes are. I mail them out once a month. I'll be mailing out March and April's prizes at the end of April. So if you're interested in that. We've got uh, random notions and patterns, fabric pat or um, quilting patterns. I've got a ton of fat quarters that I can give away. In fact, we just had a subscriber donate a bunch of fabric to the channel as well. So I, I kind of looked at it a little bit, but I haven't dug into it too deeply to see what we can use it with. If we're going to use it or give it away, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. Sir Shirley says, I use a combination of both. I quilt all of my own quilts. Well, that's great, Shirley. I, I wish I had the ability to, some, some days I wish I had the ability to do that. Um, some days I wish I did. Some days I wish I, I I'm glad I don't. Um, leave that up to the professionals, you know. We'll have to wait and see. But, um, so you use both basting and um, safety pins. Mona says, I will try it all. My brain goes a hundred different directions at the same time. It is, it has a mind of its own, LOL. Oh, Mona, I'm with you too. I am officially diagnosed with ADD, so my brain does the same thing. It's hard for me to focus. That is actually why I keep, you guys know, I keep, I have this little earbud here, and I actually have music playing in my ear right now. I, you know, that's what keeps me centered. Um, it, it I can't actually, like, hear the words. I'm not like actually listening to the words. It's just sound in the background. Um, but that's actually what I have found that keeps me the most focused is having that background noise. Um, it gives my brain kind of an extra piece to focus on as opposed to what I'm actually doing. And it helps. It helps me tremendously. I know that music doesn't really help everybody, but it helps me tremendously. It's always been a huge part of my life. I've always listened to music and I basically can't do a function without it. Uh, in fact, my husband gives me crap because I can't even read a book uh, without music. There has to be some type of background noise going on in order for me to read. Uh, it's something that I learned when I was a kid. Um, I had a really hard time studying and reading, and that was because my brain just, it couldn't focus on one thing at a time. It needed that second piece to focus on. So that's what I found works for me. So I always, always, always have music going, whether it's in my ear in an earbud or actually on speakers in the, in the room. Um, but I always have music going. Yep, Terry says, noise, music, TV, they all ground me. Yep, absolutely. Uh, they, they, they just, they help keep me focused. That is what helps me stay focused. <laughs> Two heads are better than one. Mona says she uses spray base. The kind she bought doesn't smell. That's good. You know, and everyone has their own preference, Mona. There is no right or wrong, and that's why they offer so many different products. Um, I, I personally don't like the spray base. Again, that's probably because I don't really have the space for it, and I don't like the overspray. Um, but I think if I had a, a more a larger, more dedicated space, I might use that more uh, than the safety pins. Who knows? She says, I do in the hoop edged edge on my FAF 4.5. I have a hoop. I bought, well, I didn't buy it. I got it as a Christmas gift. I got hoops um, and patterns from my aunt. 
for, from Christmas. So the, I'm going to try those out here one of these days. Mona says she was diagnosed with ADD late in life. My sister um, was diagnosed with ADHD at a very young age. I was never diagnosed with anything. They never, I don't even think they really ever looked at me. Um, I had suspected it when I started to become a teenager. I had suspected that kind of, that might have been what my problem was. I mean, my sister had a lot of, a lot of struggles when she was younger um, that my mom was really focused on it. And, and rightfully so. Um, you know, the whole family was focused on them for a long time. And so some things I was able to work with them um, and, and not even realizing that I was doing these things. Um, and then well, later in life, as I got to be a teenager, is when I started to figure out what I was doing and what was and wasn't working. And then and then as I became an adult is when I, I started going to therapy um, for other things. And that's when the therapist and I figured out exactly what the problems were that I was struggling with. And that's when I got an official diagnosis for it. So, so I think it is something that I've struggled with for a long time. I, I can't say exactly for how long, definitely not to the extent that my sister has struggled. She is a much more extreme case than I am. Um, but you know, I, I, I found ways to work through it. I've never had to take any medications for it. My sister has, um, you know, things like that. And, and there's nothing wrong with taking a medication for it. You know, these, this, this type of a situation, this is a chemical imbalance. That's all it is. It's a chemical imbalance. It has nothing to do with who you are or what you're doing or, or, you know, if you've gotten it from another family member, it's no one's fault. It's a chemical imbalance. And that's what medication does. It balances those other chemicals. Um, you know, I, I know for a lot of people, it, it can be a real struggle with having to take a medic, uh, you know, a maintenance medication all the time. They feel different. They feel like, why, you know, why does this happen to them? Why doesn't this happen to everybody else? And it's important that they focus on the fact that it's, it's just a chemical imbalance. It's, it's, everyone's body is different. Everyone's body produces different chemistries in different ways. And, and you just, sometimes you need a little bit of extra help. Your body needs a little bit of extra help to make sure it's producing the right chemicals in the right, you know, in the right fashion. So that's all it is. Um, and, and that's what I try to focus on. I try not to blame myself or anyone else on my situation. It's, it is what it is. And you just, you find ways to balance it yourself. Good morning, Anne. Hello. How are you? It has been a while since I've seen you. I think you popped in late on our last stream and wasn't really able to chat because we were getting ready to turn it off, but I'm so glad to see you again. Thanks for coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. She says dinner in our house, three dogs, six adults, and three kids. My goodness. And a partridge in a pear tree, right? Prime rib and egg hunt working on a quilt that bought at Vicky's fabric on, on Kauai. All fabric are Hawaiian shirt patterns. Oh, that sounds like fun, Ann. Hi, Tracy. Tracy from Craft Simple Life popped in today, too. Hello. How are you? So good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Shirley, I didn't see that. She says she uses a magnetic hoop. Works better than the regular hoops. I might have to look into that. I've never heard of that. I've never used a hoop before, and there really aren't any instructions on the one that I have now. So we're just going to have to figure it out as we go. Um, we'll pull, I'll probably pull that out here over the summer on a rainy day or something. We'll have to wait and see, and we will figure that out. Yes, happy Easter to, all, to you ladies. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Like I said, I know it is a holiday today, so I don't expect to, to be able to, I didn't expect as many people to pop in as have, so thank you for that. All right, so that is all the dog ears on our large square, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pile these up a little bit neater and throw them in my container. You guys know I store all of my new projects in these plastic bins. <coughs> I found these on Amazon. Uh, they have a little handle, a little uh, snap um, latch on the front of them. They're not like super fancy. They're actually kind of cheap ones. And I, since I bought them from Amazon, they actually came in cracked, which was unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, but I use these to store my projects. I've got three of them down there that you guys might be able to see right here. And then I've got a couple more up there. I 
I just kind of use these to, to keep everything organized until it gets to the point where it's too big. <coughs> All right, so that's the big one. Now we are on to the small one. Terry says, a hoop on an embroidery machine, Danny. Um, oh, Patty, thank you. She says that she really likes the colors of my blocks. Thank you. Uh, no, this one is, here, let me show you. I got it over here. It is a hoop for just a regular sewing machine. It's, let's see if I can get it out. I actually haven't even taken it out of the container yet. <clears throat> let me see if I can get it out. It's for ruler work, basically. This is the hoop that I have. It just sits right on your sewing machine somehow. I'm not entirely certain how yet. I haven't really figured it out. I think it's just like this. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So it sits on the sewing machine. Oh, wow, I'm going to lose that if I'm not careful. So it sits on the sewing machine like this. It's got two little edges, and it sits on the sewing machine like this. And then they've got all of these template pieces that slide into here like this. They slide into the hoop, so then that way you can use them, you know, like that somehow. I'm not entirely certain how it works, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> I got it as a gift for Christmas, um, along with a bunch of templates. So we're going to try and figure out how it all works. Uh, I do need to do a little bit more research on how it works and how to use it. But yes. And then it also came with a straight one as well. So. Tracy from Craft Simple Ice wants to know, how are the kids and how is Lucas? Uh, everyone is doing well. Lucas is obviously not on the stream today because he is actually home this weekend visiting his family. Him and Tony are both home this weekend. Uh, Tony did come and visit me yesterday, but she's spending the rest of the weekend with Lucas and his family, which is fine. I get it. I understand. You know, young love, all that jazz. Um, so Tony is home this weekend. They are, they are both doing very, very well. Lucas graduates in May from college. <coughs> he's applied at a bunch of jobs in a bunch of different states, so he's not really sure what he's doing just yet. He'll let us know as soon as he knows. <laughs> And then um, Tony's doing really well, too. Classes are going great. She's got one more month of school left. Her school, is, her classes end the first week in May, so she's excited for that. Taylor's doing really well, too. I was just talking about her. She is actually going to be living in a condo next year. So she won't be coming home as often as she was before, which is, you know, sad. I'm going to miss her. Um, she's got a new job she just started. A couple weeks ago, a couple days ago, um, that's going to have her work through the summer. So hopefully that's going to give her some more hours and um, some more money because she's going to be paying rent for her condo now. So, yeah, they're doing really well. Thanks so much for asking. I really appreciate that. But they're doing good. They're going to be, uh, they're sophomores in college this year. They're going to be see, uh, juniors next year. I think my iron is off. Yeah, my iron is off. That explains why it's not so warm. Uh, let me wait for that to warm back up. But they're doing really well. So thanks so much for asking for that. Terry says, I have something like that and didn't know how to use the hook. I am honestly guessing, Terry. I really don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research to figure out. But I think the hook just sits like, on, I think that's how it sits on the machine. I'm not really sure. Tracy says, good luck to them all. Yes, absolutely. We, so my husband has three daughters and I have two. He has a set of twins um, that are older. They're two years older than mine. And then he has a younger one that's two years younger than mine. So they're all kind of like, you know, they're all spread out. <coughs> his two oldest, his oldest twin, his uh, twins that are older, they are both graduating from college this year. They're seniors in college. They're both going to be graduating. We have one at Virginia Tech and we have another one at Iowa State, Ohio. No, it's in Ohio. It's, um... No, it's Iowa. University of Iowa. She's either the University of Iowa or Iowa State. I can never remember. I get it confused all the time. It's the one with the Hawkeyes. That's all I know. Uh, but she's going to also be graduating this year as well. So we have two, those two graduating, and then his youngest will be graduating from high school. She has just announced that she has officially accepted her invitation to Western Kentucky University. So that's exciting for her as well. So lots and lots of stuff going on this year. 
um, with regards to graduations and, and changes with our kids and things like that. And then of course, you know, Tony and Taylor, uh, my daughters, they'll be in their junior year. And then Lucas is also graduating from college and he'll be going off, um, off to somewhere. He's not really sure. He's been applying at jobs for all over the country, <laughs> basically the Midwest and the West Coast or the East Coast. Um, so he's, he's got his goals in mind and he's trying to figure out the best way to get to those goals. So we're looking forward to, to seeing what happens there and, and, and hopefully things get, get better. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like we've got another heist going. <coughs> so if you haven't already, make sure you get in on that. I'm just waiting for the iron to warm up here. Let me grab a drink. Today is a very quiet day for our stream. We're just going to, we're just ironing, ironing up and trimming blocks today. We've got a lot of them to do. And then the next time we come back with this project, we'll be able to actually start putting the blocks together. Hello. Wow. That's a hard name to, to say. I'm sorry. It looks like Ken, Ken, Ken on a show. M. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. If there's a better way to pronounce that, please let me know. I'm sorry, I butcher names. I'm terrible with them. Phonics has never been my strong suit. But hello, good morning. All right, let's try this again. Oh, that's better. There we go, that's better. I am pressing all of these pieces, and I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. The directions didn't really say, but I'm pressing them all the same direction, and I'm pressing all of these towards the print fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. The small ones have a print and a solid fabric, or a background fabric. I'm pressing them all towards the print. I think the, 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 um, the rule is always to press towards the darker fabric, um, but I do like to try and press everything the same direction if I can. So that's where I'm at. Brenda says, woot, woot, I went to Western. Oh, that's so exciting, Brenda. I'll have to make sure that she knows that. That'll be exciting. I'll send her a text after I get home and let her know that one of our subscribers went there. But So, yeah, so she's going to be going there in the fall. She's excited. Um, I, I don't know what she's studying. I apologize. I don't remember. I think she told me, and I may have forgotten. These small ones are easier to press up, so I'm just going to kind of, <coughs> I have something stuck in my throat, I'm sorry. My allergies are, are acting up again. You guys know I complain about my allergies all the time. I have horrible seasonal allergies. Um, the spring and the fall are the worst for me, with the spring being the worst. Um, I'm doing okay with regards to like a stuffy nose, but it's it's all draining down the back, and so it gets caught in my throat every once in a while. I know this is not stuff you guys wanted to hear about, but this is what's happening with me. Um, the sneezing, I, I sneeze constantly. I, I am on meds. I am on lots and lots of, of meds, but you know, it, it it's always a, a losing battle with regards to allergies. And then of course with the rain, it kicks everything up into the air and yeah. <laughs> it's just been a struggle. Uh, the pollen is a, a bad one. Right now, the good news is we don't have a whole lot of pollen. Everything's just kind of starting to bud up. Nothing has actually started to really bloom. Although I do have a daffodil in my front yard. If I remember, I'll try and snap a picture of it this week and show you guys on Facebook what that looks like. I do have a single, one single yellow daffodil in my front yard. Allergies will leave you unmotivated. You know what, Dawn? You're right. I mean, I think there's just been a combination of things that have kind of left me completely unmotivated. I think the weather, the time change, my allergies. Um, I, I think it's just been a combination of things. And I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself about it or beat myself up about it. You know, I do have a lot of projects here um, that I, I really want to get working on. But so I'm just trying to 
I'm trying to give myself a little bit of grace and not be too upset with myself for being lazy and unmotivated. Um, I, I have started walking again, so I'm hoping that helps. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to be patient with myself and, and let my... Let my mental state and my, my body dictate what I'm doing. Um, you know, if I don't feel like, if I don't feel up to doing something, I'm not going to force myself to do it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of let it go and not be hard. But I'm also conscious of the fact that I'm not doing it, not doing something that I should be. <coughs> and trying to make sure that it doesn't become a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the words I'm looking for. Terry says, my allergies kill me all year long. I, I have allergy issues all year. But they're they're even worse at certain times of the year. Um, specifically, the spring and the fall. <clears throat> Go toppers, she says. Terry says, are those blue cubby bins plastic of fabric? They look like plastic or fabric. They look hard plastic. No, no, no. These are all canvas. Yeah, they have a, um, they are hard. They have a nice, um, thick cardboard in between the pieces. Um, but they are a, a, a canvas, but they're not, but they are hard. They have a thick cardboard in them. So yeah, they, these are awesome. Um, I bought these. I think we bought these from Ikea. Um, and they fold up real nice too. Like the, the bottom of it flips is a hard piece of cardboard to it. It flips up and then the whole thing kind of collapses. So they work really well. But yeah, these are hard ones. They're not the soft can the soft ones. Um, but they are still a canvas. They're not a plastic. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't be storing any liquids or anything in them. Um, but they work really well for storage. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they were from Ikea. It, it's been a really long time. <laughs> and, and honestly, I've been looking at replacing them because they are pretty old. Um, they're five or six years old now, and they're starting to discolor a little bit. For some reason, that one is like a whole different color than the rest of them. I'm not really sure why. Um, but they're starting to discolor just from, you know, old age and things. So... I've been thinking about replacing them and I just haven't yet. I've, I've looked into it a couple times and just really haven't, uh, haven't committed to what I want to do with it yet. So I've been leaving it for now, but they are, they are a hard cardboard that's in there. Not, not plastic. Mine are soft sided. I have soft sided ones in our bathroom. Um, our bathroom has the soft sided canvas ones and they, they work really well for some things, but they don't work so well for other things. Cause they, cause they kind of, you know, they bulk out. Um, whereas these are more of a hard, a harder. Yeah, probably from sunlight for sure. Um, you know, they've been moved around a lot. Taylor actually brought these with her last school year. Um, you know, not this year, but her, her, um, freshman year she brought this whole thing with her and she used it in her dorm room so it's probably from sunlight I'm sure it's probably from just being from used a lot um you know this was her only storage in her first dorm room so she she actually bought a different um uh cabinet shelving unit she bought a different one at the beginning of the school year for her sophomore year because this one is really heavy it's really heavy and it's it's actually kind of difficult to take apart and put back together for her to move um so that's why she opted to leave it and that's why i i took it but yeah it, it could be the sunlight it could just be you know normal wear and tear usage I, like i said they're they're four or five years old now um and she, you know when she was living at home she, this was her storage unit as well she actually had it up like this and she this was her dresser because she didn't actually, well, she has a dresser now. It's, it's back here in the closet. Um, but she used this as part of her dresser, too. So, I mean, they've they've gotten quite a bit of use out of them. Um, so they're they're, they're quite, quite well used. So looks like there's still a heist going. 
maybe. Yep. Looks like there's still that heist going. Don't forget those slots are there too. And you guys are earning thimbles just by watching. Just by watching the stream, you're earning thimbles. I don't remember the exact payout. I think it's like 25 for every five minutes or something. It's not a lot, but it's it's a little bit. If you're interested in the prizes that you can win, you can do exclamation point prizes in chat. It'll give you a list of all the prizes that you can earn, that you can trade your thimbles in for. You know, Dawn, that is not a bad idea. Um, I never thought about that, but you're right. You could, I could do that. Dawn says the discolored ones could be deconstructed into a pattern, use fabric with a, a boisel foam. That, yeah. Hmm. I never thought about that, but you're right. We could, we could do that. We could just make our own instead of trying to find something to buy. I never even thought to thought about that. Um, I've done that before. I've taken, uh, you know, stuff and deconstructed it and used it as a pattern and made it myself. So, hmm, that could be a fun project, couldn't it? We might, we might try that, Dawn. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. That could be fun. Thank you, Terry. She put the prizes link up there for you guys so you can see what the prizes are. But like I told you guys earlier, we're just we're kind of kind of a little bit of a boring stream today, a little bit of a chill stream. I'm just pressing up all of these squares and trimming up all the dog ears. That is our only goal for today. And then the next time we come back to this project, we will have all the pieces ready to go to start making the blocks. That is obviously the most exciting part about the whole project is making the blocks. On our mix and match, <coughs> excuse me, our mix and match, we have all the colored blocks put together and we actually need to start cutting the background fabric um, to start getting the background pieces together to put the whole thing together. I think I've ironed up the background fabric, ironed and starched it up, and I think we're ready to start cutting it. Um, that is, that's what we're going to be doing next week. I'm just hoping that I'm going to be able to do it on this piece here because I think the pieces are a little bit wider than uh, what we need, but we'll have to wait and see. Yes, Dawn. I, yeah, I, I do know that they are pretty pricey to replace these bins. I had looked at it once um, last year sometime right after Talia put this back together for me and I was looking into replacing them and they were, they were pretty expensive as it was. They were like 18 to $20 a bin and it was like, are you kidding me? Uh, so that's why, <laughs> that's why I still have the ones I do. But yeah, you're right. They're probably even more expensive. Everything has gone up, it seems. Um absolutely everything has gone up except for apparently teslas i was just i just learned yesterday that apparently the price of teslas has gone down by 25 percent since january and is going to go down another i think my husband said eight <coughs> percent so if you're interested in looking at new cars apparently the teslas are coming down in price I am pressing all of these towards the print, like I mentioned before. Since these are all on the bias, I'm just trying to not stretch them. Don says, made a video this morning and used the term hell in a handbasket, Danny. <laughs> well, Don, you'll have to let me know when that one gets posted to your channel so I can watch it. That's funny. You know, I'm glad I'm glad I could influence you. See, see what I did there? <laughs> My grandma used to use that term all the time. 
And honestly, I'm not even sure what it means, but I just know she used to use it all the time. So that's something you pick up on, you know. She used a couple of other ones that probably are not appropriate for a YouTube channel, so I, I won't say those, but. <laughs> she used that one all the time. Good morning again, Kathy. I think you've been lurking. I think I said hello to you this morning, but just in case. Uh, Dawn says the Tesla guy lost all his investors to real estate. He's trying to get more investors for Tesla. Oh, Elon Musk. My music has stopped, which has me worried. Um, check in. Um, am I still connected? Looks like I am. Looks like I'm still connected. Looks like I'm just having issues with the music today. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like Pretzel Rock is having some issues with music, so we'll give me just a second here. I'll give myself some different music instead. Okay, well, that's not going to work. So... All right, well, I guess no music for me. So if I start acting all goofy, it's because I don't have anything going on in the background. Uh, that's all right, though. As long as the stream is still running, that's all that matters. Looks like Pretzel Rock is having some issues. Did I... Am I having issues? That means you're going to hell in a handbasket, not worth a coffin. Oh, there you go. Wow, Dawn says, Hell in a Handbasket derives from 1734 in Pennsylvania Gazette, a publication by Benjamin Franklin. Wow, Dawn, you did a lot more research than I thought. That is awesome. Thank you for that. I, I honestly had no idea. Terry says, I'm hungry and can't pay attention. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, the good news is that the stream is still going, but I have no background noise now, so it's, like, super quiet in my head, which means, you know, the voices in my head are going to start talking again. So this should be fun. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. It's fine. Yeah, Pretzel Rock has been... So Pretzel Rock is the app that I use through Streamlabs to stream my music. Um, and it's, it's, was, it's been acting weird today. It's like, it would start to play a song and then it would skip to the next song all by itself. And then like, it would go halfway through a song and then skipped again. And so it was, it was doing weird stuff. So I think it's just a connection issue, but now, unfortunately I have no music in my ear. It's all right. It is what it is. It means, it means is a. It means to hell in a cradle, a reference to the rocking of sinking ships. Huh. Wow, I did not know that, Dawn. That is amazing that you did that much research. <laughs> oh, she says she just looked it up. Okay, that's good. Wow, that is that is really cool. I I never did. I never looked it up. I just I use it like I'm probably using it wrong now. But Jerry says, my family lied about dying and not being worth a decent funeral. I disown them. You know what? I, I think that it can have many meanings. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't disown your family. <laughs> I think it can have many, many meanings. Hi, Marie. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. Happy Easter to you. So good to see you. So she, it looks like she says she's overslept. No worries. Don't worry about it. Sleeping is important. 
Sleeping is way more important than a, than uh, visiting us on our YouTube channel. Don't you worry about that at all. We're just glad you can make it. Late sleep in this morning. No, again, Marie, no worries. No worries at all. No worries. This is so quiet in my head, guys. Oh my God, without the background noise, it's like, it's just so quiet. It is what it is. It is what it is. I could probably turn some music on my phone, but then it would amp through the speakers, and I don't want it to do that. Shirley says, sorry, I had to step away for a bit. No, no, Shirley, don't don't apologize. You know, you got other things to do. I, I understand that. I've always told you guys, don't no need to apologize for having to step away or only be in the stream for a little while or coming in late. There, there's no need to apologize for any of that. I am grateful for whatever amount of time you guys are able to spend with us, even if it's just for five minutes to say hi. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that you guys are here with me, that I'm not here by myself, that I, there's not quiet in my ears. <laughs> there is right now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. My iron is getting a little cool, so I'm going to let that recharge for a second. I can usually go eh, six or seven pieces before it starts to cool down a little bit and then I just pop it back over there let it warm back up and then I can go again who's Heather I didn't see a Heather I assume that somebody's so who's Heather which one of you is Heather Oh, she says hi to Lucas. Unfortunately, Marie, Lucas is not here today. He is, well, I mean, he's he's physically here. He's has, he's actually at home this weekend visiting with his family. So he's not he's not on the stream. But uh <clears throat> he's actually home. So I actually got to see him and give him a hug. I got to hug him. So that was cool. They were spending time with his family. Tony is home as well. She was home on Friday. Um, so I got to see her Friday night and a little bit on Saturday morning. And then she went and spent the rest of the weekend with Lucas and his family. Oh, Dawn. Okay, no problem. I was like, oh, no, who did I miss? I'm so sorry. Okay, good. It wasn't me. I need foodies. Terry says, I need foodies. Someone stick a dish of food under my nose, please. <laughs> Patty says, I need to call the police. Someone has stolen all the ink in my printer. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Patty. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> and ink is not, ex not cheap either. It's really expensive. It is disgusting. It is disgustingly expensive. <clears throat> Terry says it's almost one o'clock by her and she doesn't eat no morsel. Well, Terry, go eat something then, girl. Go, go. I thought you said you were going to go make eggs. Somebody said they were going to make eggs. Wasn't that you? Go eat something. <laughs> Silly. We don't want you to pass out from low blood sugar just because you're hanging out with us. <laughs> I always eat just before my stream. I always eat some eggs just before my stream because they're high in protein. Um, and they kind of last me through the stream. So I always eat just before. And then after the stream, I usually go back into the kitchen for a small snack. Uh, you know, some carrots or some, you know, broccoli or something. Something, a small snack um, just to tide me over. And I always, always, always eat just before the stream. Marie says, be right back, must get coffee. Yes, Marie, make sure you bring some back to the rest of us, okay? 
<laughs> I could use a cup of coffee right now. Terry says, I bought a printer that comes with free ink for six months. After that, it's it's as low as $4 a month. You can also order copy paper with your subscription. Oh, is that the, the HP? I had an HP for a long time. I had their subscription for HP where they would just automatically send you ink every time you ran out. I don't use my printer often enough to, to really warrant, um, to really do that. And my printer here that I have is actually from my company, the company I work for, because um, I print more for work-related stuff than I do personal. So they pay for the ink, which is nice. But I know not everybody gets that luxury. But yeah, the HP uh, subscriptions, it's a great deal for, for those of you who are able to spend a couple of bucks a month. Um, and it's automatic, too. They uh, they will watch your ink levels for you um, through Wi-Fi or whatever. And um, they will just send you a new ink cartridge as soon as you start to run low. It's, it's really nice. Brenda says, I didn't even offer anyone a bite of my eggs. Oh, it was Brenda that had the eggs. It was Brenda that had the eggs. Well, geez, Brenda. That wasn't very considerate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yes, yes. You or you so you spend the the subscription is based on how much you print a month. Uh, there's a minimum. I think she like she said, the 50 pages a month is probably the minimum. Um <clears throat> the problem with that for me was I never know when I'm going to be working from home because I don't have a like a work from home schedule. Um, it's basically whenever an emergency arises or um, things like that. So I was doing the subscription for a while for myself, but it didn't really work very well for me because I never knew when I was going to be home. I always ended up going over the amount of friends I, I ended up meeting. So for me, it didn't work. But for somebody who doesn't work from home, um, it works out really well. It's it's a great way to kind of budget your expenses. And the ink cartridges are much cheaper if you pay, you know, over the course of the year, a couple of two, three bucks over the course of the year, as opposed to trying to spend 30 and $40 a cartridge when you need it. So, yeah, no, it's, it's a great idea. It's a great thing for those of you who are on a budget, um, who have... A pretty consistent amount of prints that you do a month um it keeps track of it for you too it, it will let you you know upgrade or de downgrade or whatever you need but um yeah it's it's a great program terry says yes the, pr the printer told me i was out and that they would send me more yeah it is nice it's nice that it's all automated like that so you really don't have to worry about it and then you just mail them back they give you an envelope to mail the cartridges back so they recycle them as well. So that's really nice too. <coughs> yeah, I was I was on that program for quite a while uh, until the printer I had actually crapped out on me and my company offered me offered to buy me this one. Um, and that's when we were working from home a lot more often during COVID. And uh, so I just, I have it now. So I am lucky and that I don't actually have to pay for any of that. So that's nice. A little creepy. Yeah. It might, I mean, nowadays everything that is automated like that is a little creepy, I think. Because it, it knows what you're doing. <laughs> it is a little creepy, that is for sure. I do agree with that. But you know, no more no more so than anything else that's going on in the world. <clears throat> I gotta tell you guys, without the background noise, my brain is just like, it. I, there's so much going on in there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's really hard to stay concentrated. It's almost like I can hear myself talk. And it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, congratulations, Terry, on winning the last heist. That was cool. Congrats.
Brenda says, we buy the ink bottles. Hubby fills my cartridges with syringes. Cost me $25 a year. Wow, that's really great. I do not have that kind of patience. <laughs> I don't have it in me. And I, I, no, I don't have that kind of patience. But I don't do that much printing anymore either. Uh, the, like I said, the majority of my printing, probably 90 to 95% of my printing is for my, my daytime job. It's not for anything personal, so... But yeah, I've heard that, that you can buy the replacement ink and, and do, with the syringes. Nancy's checking her thimbles count. Just as a reminder, you can do the same. If you do exclamation point thimbles in chat, it'll tell you how many thimbles you've earned so far. So then that way you know how many you can play with. We have two games in chat that you can play. Our heist game, which runs every five to ten minutes or so as soon as somebody starts it. And then also our slots machine. The slots machine is the fastest way to earn thimbles, but it is also the fastest way to lose them as well. And with Lucas not here today, there is no special games, but usually he has some special prompts that he does. Uh, sometimes he'll turn off the crossbars, which is the crossbones, which is the one that causes you to lose your thimbles. And sometimes he increases the limits as well. But again, he's not here today. So unfortunately, I don't have the time to run those things and the stream at the same time. So I can't I can't do those those fun things. But he does those when he's here. So maybe next weekend he'll be back and you'll be able to play with those again. The slots machine, is, the slots game is still running. It's just not... He's just not running his special stuff. That's all. Wow, Nancy, congrats. She just won 3,700 thimbles. So that's great. I mean, if you play the game right, you can actually earn 10,000 thimbles right there in a row and then trade those in for prizes. So it's pretty cool. Oh, it's Marie. I am jealous. She says, mmm, hot coffee. So good. That does. I am. I am jealous, hon. I am jealous. Hot coffee does sound like a great thing right now. Kathy says, I'm sorry, Danny, I have to run. My sister just came over. Have a great week, everyone. Oh, Kathy, no problem. No problem at all. Please tell your sister we said hello. Good morning, Gazelle. I didn't see you pop in, but good morning to you. Hello. <clears throat> but you, no problem, Kathy. Say hello to your sister for us. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. See you again really soon. For those of you who are not already, please go over and follow Kathy. If you do exclamation point Kathy in chat, she does a lot of live streams. She always has some fun guests on her show. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of fun. They do really long live streams. Um, they're like they're like a, a quilting retreat every day. It is so much fun. So much fun. So make sure you head over there and hang out with her. Her and Sandra and Diane. Oh, Gazelle, I didn't see her pop in, but everybody's saying hello to her, so I must have missed her pop in. Good morning to you. Uh, Brenda says, I print a lot of patterns, quilting and garments, but I have, I've bought a projector. Just download the file, shine on the fabric to cut out. No more taping pieces, pieces together. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's a good idea. Yeah, if you have a lot of things like that that you need to do, that's a great idea. Especially for garment stuff. I'm not, I, that's, you know, that's how I started sewing was through the garment stuff, and I'm just not. Hi, Darlene. I just got an email from Darlene. Let's see, Darlene, what did you need? Oh, okay. Hi, Darlene. Oh, okay. So it's the Kanoa so show on YouTube. She introduced herself in an email to me. That's so nice of you, uh, Darlene. Thank you for that. Whenever I'm so... Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I honestly am not part of um, his Discord. I keep meaning to ask him what the Discord channel is, and I keep forgetting to add it. So... If you know what it is and can email me again with that, that'd be great. But thank you for introducing yourself on your email. I appreciate that. 
It is always nice to meet another community member. I love Sean. He's amazing. In fact, I really haven't talked to him very much lately. Um, we just can't seem to catch up with each other. So I'm going to need to reach out to him and say hello. I know he's got a lot of fun things going on. I have not been following a lot of my creator friends on YouTube. I've been a, a terrible, terrible creator friend myself. Um, yeah, there she is, Gazal, yeah. But it was nice of you to do that. Thank you. I always love hearing from my subscribers and our community members. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you are a Facebook member, please join us on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, we do both of those as well. If you do exclamation point links, that's L-I-N-K-S, and chat, it'll give you links to both. If somebody wouldn't mind throwing that in there, that would be great for me. Lucas is normally on top of that stuff for me. Um, but again, he's not here. Lucas is our moderator. He's probably will be my son-in-law one day officially, but he's unofficially. <laughs> Thinking I will be able to sign quilting motifs on my quilt to mark them for FMQ. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don says, I'm finding keeping up on YouTube very hard. You know, I, I've just been... I think it's part of this whole unmotivated thing. I just, I haven't even been on YouTube to watch any of my, any of my subscriptions lately. Not just quilting, but uh, everything. Like, um, I, I just have not had the motivation to watch any of it. I've been watching a lot of movies and TV shows lately. Um, I just, I just haven't been doing it. Thank you, Terry. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing that. Those are our links for Facebook and Instagram. If you're interested, I, I try to do Instagram. I'm not very good at it. I'm trying to do better one of these days. Uh, Facebook is a much more active community for us than Instagram, for sure. That's probably my fault. Um, working on it. Along with everything else. I, I, I am a whip. You know, I am a whip. I'm a, I'm a, I am a, a, a UFO, an unfinished object, <laughs> for sure. I am a work in progress. I am a UFO. I, I will be the first to admit it. We are almost done ironing up these small ones, and then we're going to clip the dog ears, and then we'll be just about done with the stream. I can't believe it took the whole stream to do this. I was expecting us to be done within, like, an hour, so it's kind of neat that it took us this long. Oh, looks like we got another heist game that just paid out. Congratulations, Nancy. Wow, 3,000 thimbles. Congrats to you. Sandra says, same here, Danny. I'm in the non-quilting vacation sort of slump. Yeah, I... No offense to any of the creators. They're all awesome. I mean, I, I love them all so much. Um, and even the ones in our chat right now. I love you guys all so much. Uh, I just... Mm, I just cannot seem to be getting motivated <laughs> lately. Um, although I was proud of myself. I think it was last weekend. I actually... Um, no, it was two weekends ago. Two weekends ago, I, I decided to do a little bit of spring cleaning in my home. And I went through my closet and my master bedroom and I emptied out. I got like six or eight bags. I don't even know how many I was of uh, stuff for donations. So I was really proud of myself for doing that. I was able to get motivated enough to do that. Um, I've got my husband and I have just, oh my God, our living room is just covered with DVDs. We, we, we collect movies. We're big movie buffs. Um, so we collect them all. And so I bought a bunch of cases to hold all the movies in um, instead of all the individuals. I bought these really big ones that hold, you know, like 200 or something a piece. Um, and I want to convert all of the movie into from the plastic cases into this big bin. Um, and I want to sort it and things like that. So that, that's one of my, my rainy day projects that I'm going to start on. Uh, and I can do that while I'm watching shows and stuff as I'm going through them. So we'll see how that goes. So that's one of the projects I want to try and tackle. Almost done. Nancy's reminding everybody to give a thumbs up. Thank you, Nancy, for that reminder. Yep, if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't already paid your toll. Please go ahead up there to the top of the screen and tickle that like button. It really likes it. It's like Tickle Me Elmo. 
I wish I could set up like a little like sound effect so that every time somebody hit the like button it would like giggle. That would be fun. But I, I can't. I'm sorry. The only sound effects I can do is when somebody subscribes to the channel or when they donate. I think the liking one would probably get obnoxious anyway. That could be fun. A little Tickle Me Elmo giggle. That would be fun. Somebody asked me once where the tickle the like button came from. I have no idea. It's probably from another subscriber. I probably heard it on or another YouTube channel. I probably heard it on one of the other YouTube channels. Some some channels have really creative ways of, of asking people to like and subscribe. They have like um, different cute little sayings and stuff. I'm not I'm not that creative. I just ask you to to do it when you can. It does help the channel out. Um, we have seen some new subscribers to the channel, not many, and we have also lost a few too, which is which is perfectly okay. I never take that as a personal offense. Uh, you know, it's just not for everybody, and I haven't been great about posting videos and things like that anyway, so it kind of goes with the territory. Marie says, I need to do that, make donations of all the clothes I don't wear anymore. Marie, I try to do it at least once a year, although I've been terrible at it the last couple of years. Um, and that's why I had just so many, but you know, you always have those clothes in the back of your closet. No, no, no. I'm going to fit into them. I'm going to fit into them. And I just, this year I said, let's be realistic, D. You're not going to fit into those clothes anymore. So I got rid of them. Or, you know, if they're in the back of the closet and I can't remember the last time I wore them, I, you know what? It's just not worth, it's not worth keeping them anymore. Let somebody else use them. Somebody else that might need to use them. You know, let them do it. And I always donate all my old clothes unless, of course, they're in a bad condition that they can't be donated. But I always try to donate if I can. Um, I know that Goodwill is a, is a profit company. They make a profit, you know, that kind of thing. But I also know that they're providing a service to those that... They're providing a resale service to those that need it. So I like to support it anyway. I think it's a great idea. Some people have said, well, why don't you just sell it on Facebook or Facebook Marketplace or things like that? And I mean, I guess I could, but it just seems like too much work to me. I'll just take the tax donation and be done with it. All right, so I'm just cutting off all my dog ears. Just trimming them all. Again, it is so quiet in my head right now without the music. I don't know what happened, but Pretzel Rock is not working, so it's just dead silence in here, and it's making me insane. I, I hate silence. Goodwill always employs the severely handicapped. Uh, I think it depends on the Goodwill. They do employ handicapped employees for sure, yeah, which is great. Um, and the less fortunate, which is also, you know, the undereducated and things like that, which I think is great too. Um, the goodwill by me, I mean, I don't, I've yet to see anyone that's been, that has any type of handicap to my knowledge. And obviously some of them you can't see. Um, but either way, I think it works great. And, you know, the goodwill is a great place to find fabric. Uh, and I don't mean like yardage fabric. I mean like old clothes fabric. It's a great place to find t-shirts for t-shirt quilts. It's a great place to find uh, flannels for, you know, different pillows and things like that. It's a great place to find that stuff. And sometimes you get lucky and there's some yardage and stuff there too, or some pat quilt patterns, things like that. Right, Brenda, I agree with you too. Yeah, if, if I do lose weight, I deserve, then I deserve new stuff. I have to agree with you. And that's kind of where my brain has been at as well. Oh, darling, no, don't you apologize for being quiet. You know, talking in chat is, is not a requirement. Absolutely not. Uh, I mean, obviously not, nothing about this channel is a requirement. So don't apologize for being quiet, hon. No, we're, we're, we're complete, especially since it's Easter. It's, it's, we're just grateful you're here with us. We're just, we're grateful that you're here with us, spend time with us. That, that's all. It's just, you, you just sit back, you listen, you relax, you have a great time. That's all. No need to apologize at all. I am honestly surprised that there are as many people on today as there are. At one point we were up to 22 people um, in chat, which is just, I was not expecting there to be that many because it is Easter. Um, 
you know, so not a problem. Terry says she finds her vintage machines at Goodwill. Yeah, that's a good place to find those too. My Goodwill is, um, it's not as successful. Well, I really don't go in there much. You know what it is, is <laughs> I donate a lot to my local Goodwill. So I actually will not shop at my local Goodwill because I don't know what it is, but I've been in there a couple of times and I found things there that I've donated and it just creeps me out. I don't know why but it just creeps me out. So I actually will not shop at my, my local Goodwill. I will go to other Goodwills in the area, but I will not go to mine because I just, it just creeps me out. <laughs> I don't know why it just does. In fact, it creeps me out so much. At one point in time, I actually bought a pair of pants from Goodwill that I had donated. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? Um, so it was, it was pretty funny, actually. <clears throat> so yeah, it was, I, I did that one time. Terry says she doesn't have any nearby her. She shops online. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. I didn't realize Goodwill was even online. Yeah, it's just, it would, cre it creeps me out. I, it just, I don't know why, but I never thought to shop online, but yeah, that's a good idea. I guess it makes sense. I do most of my fabric shopping online for sure. My local quilt store is about an hour from me. So as much as I want to support them, um, unfortunately, it's not always an option. And they're, they actually don't offer an online ser uh, shopping service. <clears throat> At least not right now. They're kind of an old school quilt shop. They're great. They're absolutely great. They just don't have the, the ability to, to do an online store at the moment. And so... Unfortunately, I can't always support them as much as I would like to. So I usually, um, you know, go the route of like, um, Jordan fabrics. I do a lot from them. Um, Missouri star quilt company, uh, the fat quarter shop, um, which, you know, those are all technically small businesses as well. So I'm, you know, supporting them, but I would like to support my own local stores as much as I can. Terry says, my local quilt store is in the next state. Yeah, it's because the one in Louisville closed down. Oh, so sad. Brenda says, I saw an amazing quilt a man made for $20. Shirts he got from Goodwill and they were plaids. Amazing quilt. Yeah, like I said... Goodwill is a great place to find those types of fabrics. Uh, T-shirts, flannels, plaid fabrics. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great place to find those. Even jean. Um, if you're doing something with a pair of jeans, that's a great place to find it too. Because it's so inexpensive. All right, I am just trimming the dog ears up on these squares. It was so quiet in my head. I hate the quiet. Quiet. Looks like got some people playing on the slots machines and some people are winning. That is the fastest way to win, it, win those thimbles. And don't forget you can trade them in for prizes. Terry says, I donated 10 pairs of jeans after thinking hard about using them for fabric. I figured let someone wear them instead. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Terry. 
Like I said, I always donate my old clothes. Um, <coughs> as long as they're reusable, you know, if they're in really bad shape, then I'll toss them or shred them or do whatever. But I try to donate as much as I can, and I encourage my kids to do the same because I think it's a great, it's a great service that's out there. You know, not everyone can afford to buy new. And and here's the thing, though, too, is I mean, you know, as long as people take care of their clothes. Just because it's not like brand new straight from the factory doesn't mean it's not new. You know what I mean? It's it's new to somebody else. So it's just like a used car. It's not may not be brand new, but it's new to them. And and to me that's important too. So it doesn't matter where you get your clothes from or how much you spend on them. As long it, what matters is how they make you feel. If they make you feel good about yourself, they give you confidence. They they make you feel like you get a little bit of a swagger in your step. You know. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter where you bought them from or, or if somebody owned them before you or none of that matters. And I think that's important for for us to teach our children is that none of that matters. It, what matters is how it makes you feel. You know, if it gives you your boosted confidence, it makes you feel pretty or, you know, handsome or, you know, whatever. There's other words out there that I'm, I won't use. But I think that's the most important thing. You know, I don't shop at my local Goodwill, but I have shopped at other Goodwill stores. Um, unfortunately, I wear a size that's not always easily easy to obtain at a Goodwill. But, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with wearing those clothes. Especially with little kids, because the kids grow out of their clothes so quickly. Um, it's a great place for kids' clothes. Brenna says, I paid $6.99 for the last two pairs of jeans I got at Goodwill, and they have gone up. Still, you know, you won't find the new jeans at a store for $6.99. You're going to $69.99, you know, for a new pair of jeans. I mean, it's just ridiculous, the, the prices of clothes nowadays. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if they were $10 a piece, that's still cheaper than anywhere else. And you know what? Most most of the time, there's nothing wrong with them. And they, you know, they look brand new. You know. And nowadays, the rips and the holes and everything is in style. So even if you got a pair of ripped jeans, it doesn't matter. You know. Looks like a heist is going on there. Make sure you get in on that. Heist is just a luck of the draw. There's no rhyme or reason to who wins or who loses. The computer just randomly selects winners. I mean, it does the same for the slots, too, but. We are just about done here, guys. Just finishing up the last pieces. I'm trimming up. Like I said, today was an easy day. We we're just going to be pressing and trimming. Uh, the next time we come back to this project, we will be putting the blocks together, which is really exciting. I'm excited to see what these blocks are going to look like. Marie says, I agree, Danny. If they make you feel good, that's what matters. Never been into brand names. No, I, I have to agree. I've never been a big one on brand names myself. I mean, obviously, there are some brand names out there that have really great clothes, and, and I've worn them before. Um, you know, I, I've... I've spent the money on, on some things, you know, that were kind of expensive. Um, but I'm not brand name specific. I, I really just don't care. I, I, what I care about is, is how it makes me feel. You know, I don't care what size it is. I don't care what cut it is. It's how it makes me feel. How I feel about myself when I look at myself in the mirror. That, that's, that's what's most important. Oh, wow, a bed bug infestation. That is, that is scary. That is scary, Brenda. Brenda says two of the Goodwill stores in her area had to close down because of a bed bug infestation. That is scary. That is, that is really scary. And those, those things are a pain in the ass to get rid of. My daughters, uh, we ended up having a bed bug infestation in our home. Uh, it was quite a few years ago. Um, 
somehow my daughters had managed to pick it up. I'm not exactly sure where they came from or how we got it, but it was in their room. It was the good news is it was basically isolated to their bedroom, um, but it took an entire summer for us to get rid of them. I mean, we ended up we had to strip the rug the the carpet out of their room. We had to strip the mattresses out because they were sharing a room at the time. We had to strip the carpet out of the room. We had to strip the mattresses out of the room. They have um, solid oak bed bunk, uh, bunk beds. And I had to basically soak the wood in bed bug killer in order to get them, you know, to, 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 cause they were hiding in the wood. Oh, that was just, that was, that was the worst summer ever. It was awful. All right. So there we go, guys. Um, all of our pieces are officially ironed up and trimmed up, so we are all ready to go to start putting our blocks together next time we meet up. That's super exciting. Let me put these in here. And I've got some, uh, you guys probably can't see it, but I've got some uh, confetti. <laughs> some scrap confetti. So that's exciting. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end our stream here. That was someone being an a-hole when they donated. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and take care, uh, end the stream here. Um, we've done everything that we wanted to do today. We are ready to start putting the fabric together. Oh, looks like that heist just ended too. So perfect timing on that. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I know it was a holiday weekend, but I still really, really appreciate everyone being here. I can't believe how many people are in our chat for being a holiday weekend. I love my, my Easter bunny ears. <laughs> you guys know I try and I try and get new new hats for every holiday because it's a lot of fun. Um, I, again, thank you so much. I, I I'm going to try to get better at being more motivated. I'm trying to make some changes in my my personal life to try and get things going. We will get back to our um, block party series. I have the book. I have some pieces picked out. We will get back to it, guys. I promise we will. Um, maybe we'll do it on a live stream. I'm not sure yet. Um, but we will get back to it soon. Thanks for sticking around with me and being patient with me um, as I work through this. It's my own kind of personal things, but we're working through. All right, guys, I will see you guys all again next week when we work on our mix and match project. And you guys have an amazing Easter. Um, and thank you again so much for joining me. I will see you guys again really soon. Bye-bye.